We're back on the Sports Zone. I am Mike Aglioloro. Once again, thanks to everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel, Mike Ags 121. Don't forget to subscribe under the video if you haven't done so already. And check out thisisportszone.com for more. So we're back with sit them down for week three. We went four and four last week. We are seven and nine overall on the season. And we're going to start this week with the quarterbacks. Uh, I would bench Ben Roethlisberger of the Pittsburgh Steelers and Geno Smith of the New York Jets. As I said on the start em up edition, I, in my 14-team league, I actually have Ben Roethlisberger, and I'm sitting him this week for Kirk Cousins. I just don't like the matchup. The Panthers looked pretty good last week, stopping a much better offense, and Matt Stafford and the Detroit Lions holding them to only 10 points. I really wonder what the Steelers are going to be able to do. Antonio Brown is basically matchup proof, but that doesn't necessarily mean a good stat line for Ben Roethlisberger, who did let everybody down with that abysmal Thursday night performance against the Baltimore Ravens last week. Anyway, sit him for a week. At 7,800, there are better options available on FanDuel.com. As far as Geno Smith goes, $7,400 isn't a terrible price for him. He hasn't been that bad this season. He's had some great moments. He's had some very inconsistent moments, though. And against the Bears defense that did put Colin Kaepernick to shame last week, Geno Smith's not as good as Colin Kaepernick. Pass on him. Just that simple. At running back, you want to avoid Monty Ball of the Denver Broncos and Matt Forte of the Chicago Bears. Forte didn't look that great last week against the 49ers, and the Jets have been really good against the run so far. So I just look at Forte, this is not going to be a week for him. If you have Cutler, if you have Marshall, if you have Jeffrey, you're going to start those guys. Forte, just priced a little too high, over 8500 on FanDuel. You want to avoid him. Monty Ball going against the Seattle Seahawks. You want to avoid certain Denver Broncos. And at 8400 there are better options available, like Giovanni Bernard of the Cincinnati Bengals. At wide receiver, you want to avoid Demarius Thomas of the Broncos as well. You want to stay away from Marcus Wheaton of the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you want to avoid Cordell Patterson, who's going to come into the game with an injury tag. He's got some chest problems, apparently. He was downgraded on the, on the injury report as of Friday. It's a bad matchup against the Saints, especially seeing as how... He is the lone explosive weapon the Vikings have now, as long as Adrian Peterson is going to be out. So defenses are going to hone on him and make Matt Castle beat them in different ways. So you want to stay away from Cordell Patterson, who I also have in my 14-team league. I have the choice between him and Brandon Cooks, and I'm going with Brandon Cooks, even though I'm not that crazy about Cooks this week with Kenny Stills back anyway. Marcus Wheaton is going to have a very good season. He's been solid so far, stepping into the number two receiver spot opposite Antonio Brown. But like I said with Ben Roethlisberger, Panthers have looked very good on defense so far. They didn't really allow that much other than Calvin Johnson as far as uh, fantasy stats last week. So I just think it's going to be a lost week for Marcus Wheaton. You want to move on from him. And Demarius Thomas, listen, he's going against... The Seattle Seahawks, the Legion of Boom was in full force uh, in week one, and they're going to be in Seattle again. So I just think in that environment, you want to avoid Demarius Thomas, at least in fan duel lineups. And in my keeper league, I actually have Demarius Thomas, and I'm leaning very strongly towards starting Torrey Smith over him this Sunday. So I'm just saying this week you want to avoid Demarius Thomas. You want to avoid... Most of the Broncos, if you can. At tight end, you want to avoid Vernon Davis. He's priced at 7100 on FanDuel.com. He's got his own injury tag this weekend because everybody's got injury tags this week. The only advantage he has is that his backup, Vance McDonald, also has a leg injury. So the Niners are going to need to start somebody, and that would make Davis that much more willing to start, whereas if it was something serious, he would try to rest it. This week, he may not have that option. But even at 50%, I don't want him this week. It's a decent matchup against a strong Cardinals defense. That has looked relatively good so far through the first two games. So I just think this week at 7,100, there are more reasonably priced tight ends you can go for and extract adequate fantasy numbers. You got Jared Cook going against the Cowboys defense that has only allowed touchdowns two tight ends this season. And at 5,200, that's worth a shot. Zach Ertz is still priced at 5800 so you could definitely take him. Niles Paul of the Washington Redskins priced at 5000 on FanDuel. So you got a lot of different options. 
You just don't have to spend the money on Vernon Davis if you don't want to. So once again, guys, I would avoid this week. Ben Roethlisberger of the Steelers, Geno Smith of the Jets, Matt Forte of the Chicago Bears, Monty Ball of the Denver Broncos, Demarius Thomas also of the Broncos, Cordell Patterson of the Minnesota Vikings, Marcus Wheaton of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Vernon Davis of the San Francisco 49ers. Once again, thanks to everyone who subscribed to the YouTube channel, MikeAggs121. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at WeAreSportsZone. Send us any questions and comments you may have. Thanks to everyone for watching and subscribing and commenting as always. For this is SportsZone, I am Mike Aglioloro. We will see you next time, folks.